We get a lot of questions in the solar industry about electrical basics. So today I'm going to explain amps, volts, and watts and how they pertain to each other. So amps are basically what's available to move. Volts are the force that's available to move it and watts is how much total is moved. Today we're going to do an experiment with water that shows you in a visual sense what the electricity is doing. In this case we're using the blue water to represent amps and we're using gravity as our force to represent volts. So if the jar has no amps in it, or no blue water in this case, if you pick it up nothing can happen because although we have height or gravity available we don't have any amperage or water to move. If we have amperage or water but no height, it still doesn't go anywhere. So in our equations here, if you have zero amps zero or zero volts, because it's a multiplication, you will always end up with zero. So if you have zero times 12, it will always equal zero because anything times zero is always zero. So moving on, if we add height or voltage to our amperage, all of a sudden we see that we have power movement. We also can get different wattage results using amps or volts in different ways. As you can see in our example here, five amps multiplied by 24 volts equals 120 watts, whereas 10 amps multiplied by 12 volts also equals the same amount of end power, but in a very different formulation. This is why we wire in series or parallel, because in series voltages add, in parallel amps add.